वीडियो इज फ्रॉम हिलसार इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल हेलो स्टूडेंट स्टैंडर्ड नाइन साइंस चैप्टर सेकेंड इज मैटर अराउंड द स्पीयर वे स्टार्टेड विद द फिफ्थ पार्ट और द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन In earlier lesson, we studied about the mixtures. How to separate different components of the mixture, different separating techniques. In this part, we'll study physical chemical changes, elements, compound, and how these compounds are different from that of the mixtures. We we'll start with the elements. Uh, start with the physical and chemical changes. In your previous chapter, we have learned that the few physical properties of a matter. the properties that can be observed or specified like color hardness rigidity fluidity density melting point boiling point etc they all are physical properties of any material the interconversion of a state is a physical change we know that solid can be converted to liquid liquid to gases and vice versa this is nothing but physical changes because this changes occur without a change in the composition composition of material it is not getting changed because of the physical change no change in the chemical nature of the substance only its physical nature is changing although the ice water and water vapor all look different and they display different physical properties they are chemically same बोथ वाटर एंड कुकिंग ऑयल दे आर लिक्विड वाटर कुकिंग ऑयल जो होता है लिक्विड है मगर दोनों के केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज अलग हैं दे डिफर इन ऑर्डर एज वेल एज इन्फ्लेमेबिलिटी दोनों दोनों के जो केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी वो अलग है जैसे कि ऑर्डर अलग है उनका जो स्मेल आता है वो अलग है इन्फ्लेमेबिलिटी इन्फ्लेमेबिलिटी मीन्स एबिलिटी टू कैच फायर एंड बर्न वो अलग है वाटर इट्स नॉट कैचिंग फायर बट द ऑयल इट कैन बर्न इट सेल्फ We know that the oil burn in air, whereas the water extinguishes the fire. यानि कि ये जो property अलग है ना opposite है. It is this chemical property of oil that makes it different from water. Burning is a chemical change. Burning is a chemical change, right? During this process, one substance reacts with the another to undergo a change. in the chemical composition so wherever there is a chemical change there is a change in the chemical composition of the substance which is undergoing that change chemical change brings change in a chemical properties of a matter and we get new substances a chemical change is also called chemical reaction in earlier lesson we we saw the physical change in this lesson we we'll see the chemical reaction the chemical changes during burning of a candle both physical and chemical changes take place can you distinguish them wherever it burns it change its state right the solid turns into the liquid wax and then the vapor which for the burns and burning itself it is a chemical change let's move towards the pure substance what are the types of pure substances so we will first discuss about elements on the basis of their chemical composition substances can be classified either as element or compounds so based upon its chemical composition usme kya kya present hai they may be element or they may be compound let us first discuss about elements robert boyle was the first scientist to use the term element in 1661 Antony Laurent Lavoisier in 1743 to 94 during this period he is the he was a french chemist who was the first to establish an experiment usefully definition of an element he defined an element is uh, it as a basic form of matter जो हमने पढ़ा था ना एवरी थिंग मेडअप ऑफ मैटर एंड दैट मैटर द बेसिक फॉर्म ऑफ दैट इज एलिमेंट विच कैन दैट कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू सिंपलर सब्सटेंसेज बाई केमिकल रिएक्शन सो इट इज द बेसिक फॉर्म ऑफ एनी मटेरियल एलिमेंट्स कैन बी नॉर्मली डिवाइडेड इन टू मेटल नॉन मेटल एंड मेटेलॉइड्स एलिमेंट्स के तीन टाइप है मेटल है नॉन मेटल एंड मेटेलॉइड नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट द मेटल्स दे आर यूजली शो सम और ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टी जो भी नीचे के मेटल्स के प्रॉपर्टी दिए गए हैं ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट इन यर स्टैंडर्ड एट दे हैव लस्टर लस्टर मीन्स शाइनिंग होते हैं दे हैव सिल्वरी ग्रे 
और गोल्डन येलो कलर्स उनके जो कलर होते हैं गोल्डन या फिर सिल्वर कलर में होते हैं दे कंडक्ट हीट और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दे आर द गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दे आर डक्टाइल मक्टाइल मीन्स दे कैन बी ड्रॉन इन टू द वायर उनकी वायर बनती है दे आर मेलेबल मेलेबल मीन्स दे कैन बी हैमर्ड एंड टू फॉर्म अ शीट उसको हैमरिंग करके उसके हम पत्रे बना सकते हैं और शीट बना सकते दे आर सोनरस मीन्स वेन वी जस्ट बैन इट इट विल मेक अ साउंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मेटल्स आर गोल्ड सिल्वर कॉपर आयरन सोडियम पोटेशियम एक्सेट्रा मर्क्यूरी इज द ओनली मेटल विच इज लिक्विड एट रूम टेम्परेचर द नॉन मेटल्स दे आर यूजली सो सम ऑफ ऑल ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी विच इज गिवन बिलो दे डिस्प्ले अ वराइटी ऑफ कलर अलग अलग कलर्स होते हैं दे आर पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देखिए इसके प्रॉपर्टीज जो है मेटल्स के अपोजिट है दे आर नॉट एट ऑल लस्ट्रस सोनरस और मेलेबल इनके पत्रे नहीं बना सकते दे आर नॉट मेलेबल वी दे आर वेन वी बैंग इट इट डजेंट मेक अ साउंड एज वेल एज इट इज नॉट शाइनिंग द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स आर हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन आयोडिन कार्बन दैट इज कोल और कोक ब्रोमिन क्लोरिन एक्सेट्रा सम एलिमेंट्स दे हैव द इंटरमीडिएट प्रॉपर्टी बिटवीन डोज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल दोनों की प्रॉपर्टीज होती दे आर कॉल्ड मेटल एग्जाम्पल्स कॉल से बोरॉन सिलिकॉन जर्मैनियम Now let us uh, move towards a small video clip uh, where your idea of element and compound get clear. Elements and compounds. Everything around us, whether it is gas, liquid or solid, is made up of matter. When matter is observed closely it is seen to be made up of tiny particles called atoms Atoms combine to form molecules that make up different kinds of substances around us The molecules that make up matter can be classified as elements or compounds Let us learn more about these today Let us use some colored beads to understand how elements are different from compounds. Consider the yellow beads as oxygen atoms, the red beads as hydrogen atoms, and the blue beads as carbon atoms. Let us try to make an oxygen molecule, a water molecule, a carbon molecule. and a carbon dioxide molecule using these atoms you know that one oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms so here we go one and two oxygen atoms put together and we have an oxygen molecule now the water molecule One water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So we need one yellow bead and two red beads to make one water molecule. This seems interesting. Let us continue to make the carbon molecule and the carbon dioxide molecule. One carbon molecule is made up of two carbon atoms. So here is one and two put together and we have a carbon molecule. The carbon dioxide molecule on the other hand is made up of one carbon and two oxygen atoms. So here is one molecule of carbon dioxide. Here are all molecules we have made so far. Do you notice that the molecules of oxygen and carbon are made up of only one kind of atoms? Well, 
all such molecules that are made up of only one type of atoms are called elements. But then, what about molecules like water and carbon dioxide? Well, all such molecules that are made up of more than one type of atoms are called compounds. The properties of a compound are different from the properties of the elements that make the compound. The number of elements known at present is more than 100. 92 elements are naturally occurring and the rest are man-made. Majority of the elements they are solid in nature. 11 elements are in gaseous state at the room temperature. While the two elements are liquid at room temperature. They are mercury and bromine. Elements like gallium and cesium becomes liquid at the temperature slightly above the room temperature. So, about the, the element. Now let us discuss about the compounds. Compound is a substance composed of two or more elements. So element is a basic thing. Compound is a two or more elements combined together. It may be of a same or different element. We call them as compound. With the chemical combination. So there is one particular bond or the connection between the two elements, two or more elements which we call chemical bond. What is chemical bond? Actually, it is the force of attraction between two elements. It is a chemical bond. They are just bonding in a fixed proportion. What do we get when two or more elements are combined? We will get its molecule or it may be compound. Let us move towards the activity. Divide the class into the two groups. Give 5 grams of iron filings and 3 grams of sulfur powder in a china dish to both the groups. Dono ko bhi kya dene aapko? Iron filing, matlab iron jo hote na, wo dena hai aur sulfur ki powder dene hai. In group 1 kya karega? It mix and crush iron filing and sulfur powder. And group 2 will mix and crush iron filing and sulfur powder. Heat this mixture strongly till red hot. And remove from the flame and let the mixture cool. So uh, group 1, they are just mixing iron filing and sulfur powder. In group B, they are mixing and just heating them so that to remove some chemical changes occur between these two. Group 1, A and 2, check for magnetism in the material obtained. Bring a magnet near the material and check if the material is attracted towards the magnet. Compare the texture and the color of the material obtained by the group. We the texture color check the magnetism check. Add carbon disulfide to one part of the material obtained. Stir well and then filter. Add dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid to the other the, the material obtained. Perform all the above steps with both the elements iron and sulfur separately. No, no answer. Did the material obtained by the two groups look the same? Which group has obtained a material with magnetic properties? Can we separate the components of the material obtained on adding dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid? Did both the group obtain a gas? Did the gas in both of them? smell same or different so the gas obtained in group 1 is a hydrogen and it is colorless or odorless and it is highly combustible so it is not as advisable to do the combustion test for the hydrogen in the class because hydrogen gas is a highly combustible gas it makes a blast easily the gas obtained by the group 2 is hydrogen sulfide and it is colorless gas with the smell of rotten egg the hydrogen sulfide gas group 2 ko milega rotten egg ke jaisa uska smell hota hai so that the products obtained by both the groups show the different properties though the starting material were the same yeah? no 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 this iron and sulfur were used but they got a different product why this is so group 1 has carried out the activity which is involving only physical change 
whereas the group 2 carried out the chemical change that is a chemical reaction takes place the material obtained by group 1 is a mixture of two substances the substance given are the elements that is iron and sulfur while well, the properties of the mixture are the same as that of its constituent लेकिन एक क्योंकि उसकी जो मैग्नेटिज्म प्रॉपर्टी है वो सेम थी द मटेरियल ऑप्टेन बाय ग्रुप 2 इज अ कंपाउंड सो ऑन हीटिंग द टू एलिमेंट्स कांट स्ट्रांगली वी गॉट द कंपाउंड हीटिंग द टू एलिमेंट्स स्ट्रांगली वी गॉट द कंपाउंड व्हिच आर टोटली डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ द कंबाइनिंग एलिमेंट दो एलिमेंट्स कंबाइन करके जो प्रॉपर्टी मिलते उसके अलावा ये प्रॉपर्टी बिकॉज़ वी हैव हीटेड एंड देयर इज सम केमिकल चेंजेस हैज अकर द कंपोजिशन ऑफ द कंपाउंड is the same throughout we can only observe that the mixed texture and the color of the compound are the same throughout thus we can summarize the physical and the chemical nature of a matter in the following graphical organism that is mixture and compound elements or a compounds just mix together to form a mixture and no new any compounds are formed while in compound the elements they react to form a compound well a mixture has a variable composition while the compounds they are having the fixed composition throughout the mixture shows the properties of the constituent substances where the compounds they are, they are the new substances totally form they are having different property in the mixtures the constituents can be separated fairly easily by physical method while the compounds the constituent can be separated by chemical or electrolytical reactions we can use electrochemical reaction to separate the constituents of the compound distinguish between mixture and compound as we look around we can see that most of the matter around us exists as mixtures of two or more components a mixture is obtained by mixing two or more substances in any proportion and it shows the properties of the constituent substances these constituents can be separated easily by physical methods for example milk is actually a mixture of water fat and proteins in today's daily life it would be very difficult to live without using compounds a compound is a substance composed of two or more different types of elements chemically combined in a fixed proportion the new substance has totally different properties and the constituent elements can be separated only by chemical or electrochemical reactions water is a good example of a compound in this experiment Our aim is to distinguish between mixture and compound on the basis of appearance, behavior towards a magnet, behavior towards carbon disulfide and effect of heating with dilute HCl. Materials required. Iron filings, sulfur powder, dilute HCl. carbon disulfide spatula magnet glass rods boiling tubes dropper watch glass aqueous solution of copper sulfate and a beaker procedure here we take ferrous sulfide which is a compound of iron and sulfur to do the experiment upon strong heating iron is combined with sulfur to form ferrous sulfide now take a mixture of iron and sulfur in a beaker and mix the contents in it using a glass rod after mixing we can see the yellow colored sulfur powder and iron filing separately now Take ferrous sulfide in another watch glass and mix it using another glass rod. Here we cannot see iron filings or sulfur. Thus we infer that the mixture is heterogeneous and the compound is homogeneous in nature. Now show a magnet over the watch glass in which the mixture of iron and sulfur has been taken. 
We can see that ion filings cling to the magnet, which indicates that ion retains its properties. Now, show the magnet over the watch glass in which the compound is taken. We can see that no particle attaches to the magnet, which indicates that ion has lost its properties on forming a compound. Transfer a small quantity of mixture to a clean boiling tube using a spatula and a few drops of carbon disulfide into this boiling tube. Here, sulphur dissolves in carbon disulfide and forms a yellow coloured solution. Now, decant this yellow coloured solution to the china dish. After some time, we can see that the sulphur will reappear as yellow powder and this indicates that sulphur retains its property. Similarly, transfer a small quantity of compound to a clean boiling tube and add a few drops of carbon disulfide into it and shake the boiling tube well. Here, no change is observed which indicates that sulphur has lost its original properties after reacting with iron. Now, transfer a small quantity of the mixture to a boiling tube and place it in the test tube rack. Add a few drops of dilute HCl using a dropper. We can see the evolution of glass bubbles, which indicates that iron reacts with dilute HCl and forms hydrogen gas. Fe plus 2HCl gives you FeCl2 plus H2. Similarly, transfer a small quantity of compound to a boiling tube and add a small quantity of dilute HCl into it. A gas evolves in the boiling tube. Now, cork the boiling tube which has a bent tube connected to it. Insert the other end of the bent tube to copper sulphate solution. We can see a black precipitate forming in the copper sulphate solution. Here, ferrous sulphide reacts with dilute HCl to form hydrogen sulphide gas. FES plus 2HCl gives you FeCl2 plus H2S. The hydrogen sulphide formed reacts with copper sulphate solution to form a black precipitate of copper sulphide. CuSO4 plus H2S gives you CuS plus H2SO4. This is how the matter found there it may be pure substance in the form of element or compound or it may be a mixture that mixture may be homogeneous or heterogeneous so here we finish up with the lesson the homework is to write down the question and answer of this lesson and distinguish between the mixtures and compound goodbye